Got some Pack 2 Scuddy here. It's the Pack 2! Well, from that same dude, I, I like to go check in on that. Yeah, that, the, the West Virginia bro. Yeah, that dude on Twitter who had the USC and UCLA thing to to the Big Ten. Yeah, and he had some of the, the claps of the Pac-12. He's, he's got he's someone that's got some sort of connections. He's got a, It's a burner account for someone connected. He's talking about um, Oregon State and Washington State and their discussions. Or he's actually talking about the Big 12. Yeah. And their discussions about what they may want to do with Oregon State and Washington State. Uh, the latest is he's saying that the Pac-2 uh, is trying to negotiate playing eight games against the Big 12 in 2025. And that is, that is eight total games. Yeah. So nothing, I mean, because they already have the Mountain West thing set up. Yeah. But um, the cost would be $2 million per game, but the Beavers and Cougs could shop the games to different carriers. Yeah, they would sell it, and that's how they would they would make some dough. And then it would be kind of a, a test run. At least he, he's claiming that there's some hesitancy from the Big 12 schools to offer a full invite. So they kind of want to just kick this down the road a little bit, do a little schedule alliance, see how this goes, and then see what ESPN, because it sounds like, at least from him, that it's ESPN, the, the, the one that's driving this, saying, hey, the Big 12, let's grab these teams and open up some more window slots to keep it away from streaming people, seemingly like Amazon, Apple. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, he, he throws a lot of stuff out there, and he certainly is right at times, but again, it's just a lot of stuff he's, quote, hearing. But I just like if you're a if you're a Pac-2 fan, I think you're just happy that you're in discussions right now. And and now other sources as well are, are saying that there are multiple discussions going on um, between the Pac-2 and other media entities. So at least you're in the discussion now. You're not a forgotten, um, you know, you're you're not like a little forgotten island out here in the upper left. People are talking about you. Yeah. Uh, I guess he said all the no vote schools, and there's a bunch of them. If they got selected for any of the eight games against the Beavers or the Cougs, they would get home games yeah, because they, they, they don't, don't want to travel. Yeah, they don't want to travel up there. So that's <laughs> West Virginia, Cincinnati, Kansas, Iowa State, Oklahoma State, Kansas State, and UCF. Basically, half of the Big Twelve doesn't want them. Yeah, I, I love, don't know why. Well, I mean, some of it is again you slice in the pie uh, more ways. Yeah, but you'll make more money though. Again, uh, we don't theoretically. we don't know how much more money. Uh, and then the other one that I've I've seen is the fear of if you go a certain point, does it prevent you from growing any further after that? And I think some people are just waiting for the ACC to collapse, and they'd rather expand that way. But now the ACC, now we're reading the ACC wants to pill for the Big Twelve. Yeah. So. Oh, for. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to, I don't know what to make of any of this. It just sounds like we're not close to being done. How about that? That there's more. Uh, I do know that. There's more. I do. I do know that. There's more shenanigans still to come. I do know that. But you know, look, if ESPN uh, wants something, I mean, we all know that ESPN and Fox are the big drivers and all this. So, if that part of it is true and it's ESPN that's pushing for this, that's I, I think that's a good uh, that's a good first step. And getting in with some Big Twelve teams is better than the schedule alliance with the the Mountain West, even if it's only four teams, four games apiece. At least that's four games against you know power four competition. Yeah, and, and then it, you got the Washington game and the Oregon game. Yeah, before you know it, you got a decent little skeddy. Well, I mean, that's five, and then you know you piece together some teams with some good Mountain West uh, schedules, and you got yeah, something. Yeah. But eventually, in two years, you got to find your way into a conference one way or another. Another option would be uh, the Beavers and Cougs as partial Big 12 members. He was talking about uh, Oregon State baseball, mm. also Gonzaga and UConn basketball. Yeah, because that's one of those where, and, and it's long been rumored, and it, this sounds like it is going to happen, that the Big 12, when they do their next meteorite deal, is going to do two separate deals. They're going to do football and everything else on one side, and then they'll do a separate basketball deal. And they, well, they already are, but they're really trying to make their their mark on they are going to be the best basketball conference in the country. And and so the idea of going out and getting, adding UConn and adding Gonzaga to already when you have Arizona, you have Kansas, you have uh, uh, Baylor. I mean, dude, you got, you add UConn and Gonzaga to that, you do have, without question, the best basketball conference in the country. And I think it's kind of interesting that they're going down the road of let's sell that individually. Yeah, that is a pretty rad conference. Yeah, if you think about it, because they also have um, you left out Houston. Yeah, they're elite right now. Very Iowa good. State's really good. Yep. Uh, Texas Tech has a good program. BYU. Uh, uh, 
well, you said Kansas, Kansas. and Arizona, yep. but then you add Gonzaga and UConn. Come on, well, dude. Think about just d- d- you want to talk about the, the like perennial. You have the best team in the country in the last however many years in UConn. Gonzaga is a perennial top ten team. Kansas is the definition of a blue blood. Arizona was the premier program out west for years and the last Pac-12 team to to win a, a a championship. And then you mentioned kind of the Baylor won a national title in the last few years. Like you, I mean, it's just that would be an absolute monster get if they could get UConn and Gonzaga to uh, to agree to that. Yeah, and of course, then you know the Tinkler man. Wait, what? Oh yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? He's what? still there. The Tinkler's still there, baby. I don't know if they have any players, but you know, the they can't afford to fire him, can they? I don't think they can. No. I mean, not that he deserves to be fired. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah it's, it's been a pretty rough go since going to the Elite Eight, <laughs> hasn't it? It has not been great, no. But that, you know, that was a hell of a run. It was. He's a good coach. I think I think he's a good coach. It's just tough. It's 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 tough to Ooh. it's tough to win there. They're twenty four and forty since the Oh no, they're not. Sorry. They're oh, yep. they're twenty seven and sixty eight since that run. Mm. And by the way, that team that made the Elite Eight was only twenty and thirteen. <laughs> oh well. They hey, were they were a twelve seed. Hey, you got hot at the right time. They've been to the tournament twice since nineteen ninety. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it hasn't been a great run. God. Hey. Washington State had to go in there for a little bit under under Bennett. They were all right. Not necessarily a – can we just call a spade a spade? Look, the Northwest isn't necessarily a hotbed of basketball. I mean, Seattle's pretty good. Yeah. Seattle area. I don't know what the I The Huskies expect. haven't done squat either. No, no, no. I just mean from, like, producing oh, high school basketball They have talent. kids. Yeah, they got kids. But, look, you want to talk about disappointment. Look at how many people Washington, like, supposedly gets from, like, recruits, and they don't do squat with it. They've been a mess. You know, at least Oregon – like, Oregon's had success – Washington had that 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 run with like B Roy where they were okay, but Washington gets big time recruits and puts kids in the uh, NBA and they suck. Dana will get you there. Yeah, dang, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. Dana, Midwest uh, girl dad, the brush. Someone said just schedule them against all the former Pac-12 schools. <laughs> there you go. Play the four against the <laughs> play four against the uh, the Big Twelve teams and then schedule four against the former Pac-12 teams and away you go. That'd be funny. Just recreate it. It is silly that the Pac-12 had to die, but you know, I don't. I don't blame people for getting out while the getting was good. It's their own fault. Well, everyone else would have done it too. So, just sucks the way it had to go down. I'm very confident. Yeah, remember that? Oh yeah, that was what Klyavkov. You and right? Georgie. Well, well, you weren't. You, you I weren't and Georgie. Here. Yeah. I was interviewing George Klyavkov. So I think you both were here, right? I don't think Sue was here. No, I was gone. I remember coming back and hearing that. I think I was on vacation. Oh. I think I might have been in Iceland or something. I'm very confident. Yeah. I was drunk overseas somewhere. Yeah. George. I'm very confident. What, that, what do you think that guy's doing now? Probably collecting two million bucks to not do anything. Didn't we read that he got a new gig already? Really? Did he? I thought. Um, I'll, I'll dig into it. Do you think he raw dogs flights? <laughs> 